Happy holidays from teacher Melissa. Quick little tip video today I want to bring you. Now, as you may have heard from my other YouTube videos, I do teach in front of bookcases. One big reason is I like the depth and complexity that it brings to the screen so it's not completely flat behind me. So I've got 3D things. I also use 3D props when I'm teaching. I think it gives a visual interest to the student, helps keep their attention, and they're staring at this flat screen for 25 minutes. So I'm trying to give some depth. Now, I pay attention to what I look like on the screen and this is what brought about some of the changes I made a few months ago about how I show things on the screen. So when I have a prop that is quite small, I use the back of my hand to show the prop. So let's say I've got my insect unit or I'm teaching one of the stories in the younger units where the little girl sees a spider and is scared. So I'm going to hold up my spider. And that doesn't look too bad. You can see my spider, right? But you also see all me back here. Got my mouth in there. The student's on a little iPad screen about this big. Watch if I just change to how I show the student the spider. And I put it on the back of my hand. Now the student is seeing the spider. They're not seeing me behind there. They can clearly see all the legs. They can scream. They can shudder. They do not like bugs over there in China, do they? So they're always like, ooh. So anyway, so they can clearly see. Same with my aunt. Now, he's not quite as easy to see because he's spread out and he has a thin body. But if I put that on the back of my hand and show the student, it is very clearly seen and that really has made a difference for my students. I do this with my little stars too. You know I use a lot of stars of different themes uh, to match the classes or to match whatever theme I've got going in my class that week. And so I show them and this doesn't look too bad. Oh look you get a star. But if they're little stars like these, I've got big stars, but if I have some of my little stars, I'll even do that on the back of my hand. It really makes a difference if you're showing something small. If I use one of my Melissa and Doug magnets that's a little bit smaller, I'll often put it on the back of my hand to make that bulk so there's not my whole background going on while they're trying to focus on that one little thing. So that's one thing I do with my props, both 3D and 2D, just showing the back of my hand. Another thing that I've started doing is counting with my hand backwards. Now, naturally in English, we count like this. One, two, three, four. Now that doesn't look too bad, even if I hold it up. But if I'm on one, I, I don't know how to explain it. I've got all this other little stuff going on there and the kid's trying to see. But I really feel if I flip that around and I'm only showing one finger and they can't see all of these. Now, of course, they know they're there. I don't mean they don't know how to count. What I mean is visually how it looks on the screen. So if I go one, tell me two things about the story. I think this looks a lot clearer to the student. I'm saying it and I'm doing the TPR. Then if I go, tell me two things because I'm back here, even bringing it up, but this is very clear. So I'll do the back of my hand when I'm counting. Let's look at number four. Now, when the students are doing one, two, three, four, five on the screen, I am always saying the number and always saying it. I'll say, let's do the next one. I'll say, I might say, let's do the next one, number three. What's next? Number three. But I'm always showing that TPR. Now, I have adapted to the Chinese way of counting on my fingers. This is just a little bonus. Maybe you've seen this. Maybe you haven't. Maybe this is brand new to you. Maybe you just need a refresher. But I always do it on the back of my hand also. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Simple as that. So try this. Show the back of your hand. Put your props up against the back of your hand. Bring things a little closer in and block out a little bit of yourself when you're using your props to make them more visually available to your students, especially those of them who are on a small iPad screen. Happy holidays.